I'd like to share my gift to everyone, AFRIF, the Africa International Film Festival. In every industry, <clears throat> there's a, the, the film festivals are important because that's where filmmakers gather, filmmakers come together to network, um, to talk about the films, to build structure, to talk about the problems of the industry, to meet other people, to position and to position films for proper marketing and proper distribution. Mm -hmm. And so every industry needs a film festival in every country, in every continent. There in That's place. true. And they also come together to network. Um, there's a lot of collaborations that take place and the perfect platform for it is a film festival. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, at a festival, it's about the industry. So everybody is, you know, you see colleagues that you never get to see through the year mm -hmm. because everybody's busy working. But at the festival, actors can meet with actors, directors can meet with directors. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it just keeps growing. Also, festivals open doors for training. Yes, they do. And, yes. and that's, that's very important for an industry to grow. And, you know, they're like exchange programs and all these things that go on. And then it also fosters training as well for like students who are young in the film industry. And it also gives opportunities for like producers and directors to find the right characters for their film. And also marketers to actually, you know, watch some of these films and be able to see which ones will fit their audience as well. So AFRIF, um, which in full name is the African International Film Festival, is five years young. Um, it's an annual film festival. Uh, we present a platform for the film industry, like we've just talked about, for you know people to attend trainings, um, have discussions on topical issues that are affecting the film industry. Uh, we screen a lot of movies. Um, this year alone, we had over 600 movies that were submitted. Um, out of the 600 and something, mm -hmm. we're actually going to be screening 190 films and then 137 are in competition. Mm -hmm. um, the African International Film Festival has 13 categories of awards um, and we look at, you know, we, there's a process we go through in selecting the best film. We have a jury that's made up of different jurors who come together to select the top films based on certain criteria. Um, our focus with the film festival is actually on students. We believe that the students are the next generation of film producers, directors, um, actors and actresses so we have a really good segment for the students um, and what this does as well is it presents a platform for students who are young in film to come in and learn different types of um, uh, filming okay. skills it could be cinematography it could be acting it could be directing it could be scripting all within seven days during the mm -hmm. film festival the good news here is you make it in AFRIF the world is your oyster. Mm -hmm. um, you can go on and do big things. You actually win at the end and we get the top students from each of the classes. Uh, we partnered with very, very top institutions. There's the Relativity um, Studios in the United <coughs> States. We have the Montana State University. We have Africa Magic. We have the British Council. All have come together to partner with AFRIP to support students to take mm -hmm. them to the next level. Uh, this year alone, and I'm sure Lala will talk to you about that, we had two sets of um, students that you know went away and got one month of very intense training. We had young producers, Lala here. <laughs> um, she was in the States, she was in LA uh, for a whole month where they got open to so many big opportunities. I'll let her talk to you about that. Mm -hmm. And then we had some students who were carefully selected as a result of a trip last year who went to Montana State University and learned documentary for a whole month. Um, that is the, some parts of the film festival that is very, very inspiring for me. I'll let Lana tell you uh -huh. more. Um, so, yes, AFRIF is very, very instrumental or, you know, AFRIF is very passionate yes. about training, about seeing that um, the, the people who grow in Nigeria and Africa are prepared and equipped to compete with colleagues around the world. Right. So the, it's, it's not just about working here. Afrif sees to it that they select the best, and I was, you know, privileged to be part of the part of 20 young actors and, and producers and directors who were selected this year. And we were in LA for, you know, a month. And in that period, we were we, we were trained at the Los Angeles Center Studios, which was really good because we're right there in the middle right. of how films are made. And mm -hmm. 
it was it was a beautiful experience. I mean, we were in the places where they shoot Scandal, Grey's Anatomy, you know, all these things. And, and you know, there were days when they, they they had to tell us to behave like we were colleagues. So if you see any star, you have to be normal and act normal. You you can't <laughs> take pictures, you can't do anything like a groovy because you know you're being prepared to function in that world. <clears throat> and then we had this great industry session, you know, at home where we had professionals like Matt Damon come to the house and talk to us. So Afrif, and Afrif was at the forefront of that collaboration. And I like to say that collaborations make dreams come alive quicker. Right. So that collaboration has started and will be featuring again right. this year because I know there will be a recruitment for the people, who, the next set of people that will go next year mm -hmm. and there will be a review. And we made films and two of my films actually have been selected in the festival. We made films in LA, yeah. you know. So these are, these are the highlights of Afri. Right. This, this is really what Afri... I mean, we can talk for two hours and we won't right. be done. Yeah. But trust me, Afri is the place to be. It's, it's, it's also a platform for anybody who is in the industry, has been in the industry for a long time, is new to the industry, wants to learn about the industry. Mm -hmm. um, so what we try to do with Afri is to make sure that there is something for everybody. There's some people that go to festivals just for parties. Mm -hmm. There's some people that go and all their focus is just go and watch these movies and probably make a decision on whether they're going to distribute this film. Um, the beauty about AFRIV is that platform. And when you think about it, 600 movies plus were submitted. 180 will be screened. There's a good chance that maybe 100 will never make it to the cinema. Mm -hmm. So it's a fantastic opportunity for producers and directors to get their films into the Africa International Film Festival. Then we have panel discussion, and that's where we're discussing financing. How do you finance your, your film? If you're new to the industry, where do you go to? Mm -hmm. um, how do you distribute this film? Piracy. Online, offline? We have this issue of piracy that affects mm -hmm. the whole world. Mm -hmm. um, it's big here. So how do we tackle piracy from a technology standpoint, from you know, a legal standpoint? And you know, we look at all these various angles. Then we have classes, master classes, where specific topics are taught you know, and then taking you to the next level in terms of that category of skill. The cinema culture is definitely growing yeah. and people are understanding the process and people are beginning to place value yeah. on Nigerian films. So five years ago, if you said, oh, I was going to the cinema to watch a Nigerian film, people probably look at you and say, you're going right. to waste your money, you're going right. to waste your time. But that is changing. We are not there yet. Because we, we still need to get to the point where a Nigerian film can spend four weeks in the cinema and have prime time. Prime time is like from 6 p.m., 8 p.m. We do have films that have, you know, done that. Kulia for Lions, October 1, Sude mm -hmm. Kelani's Dazzling Mirage, EJ, the, the Meeting, you know, these films have, you know, succeeded on that level. But we need that story to be everybody's story. Right. And we are getting there. Um, with with the, the issue of downloading films, for Iroko TV, people subscribe to Iroko and the, the filmmakers who take their films either straight to Iroko, that's also a distribution channel and they work out a deal. So some people make films and then it goes straight to Iroko because it doesn't go straight to the cinema because they've looked at the mathematics and the, finan the financial side and it's more economical for them and they would, they, the numbers that of people on Iroko TV, it translates. You know, there are some people that do that. Now, I don't know that there are a lot of Nollywood films you can easily download online the way you download, you know, a Hollywood film. Because we're not, filmmakers don't just put their films on the internet, at least Nigerian filmmakers don't just put their films on the internet. So I would say the, the cinema culture is growing. The only gap, I think, is piracy. When, you know, there's a movie in the cinemas and people hear it does really well and it's pulled out and then there's a demand for the film. Yes. And the film hasn't done its round, so the filmmaker hasn't put it on DVD just yet. And so they go ahead and pirate it. So I think that's, that's where we have a, a problem or a challenge. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the things that AFRIF is positioning itself to solve and discuss. And you know, every year there's a piracy panel. And this year I'm, I'm looking forward to it because I know people are gathering and you know, there are people who had terrible experiences last year mm -hmm. and this year. So that's, do you want to add anything? Yes, I agree. I mean, the cinema culture is changing significantly. You find more people going to the cinema. I mean, one of the things we're even doing this year is making sure that the secondary schools are even involved. So we have family friendly movies because now they have school excursions. Mm -hmm. They take the students to the cinema so they get an opportunity to watch some of these really good films. And that's the good thing about AFRIP is pre presenting that platform that allows you to understand, you know, in, in terms of the distribution channels. We have online, we have offline, and we have a very, very airtight um, panel discussion this year in, in discussion distribution 
one good thing, there are avenues now for producers and directors to get their films out there. There's a process. There's a process. We have an age jury member team that will spend night and day watching these movies during the festival. Um, there's 137 that have made it into competition. They will watch 137 films mm -hmm. within five, six days and then come up with the, the winning uh, films. And mm -hmm. those will be announced at the award ceremony mm -hmm. on the 14th, which is where everything comes together. And there's a, there's a viewer's choice. There's one film yeah. that's a viewer's choice. So in the process of the festival, as people go into watch films, they're giving little slips yeah. and then they just rate the film and mm -hmm. that's collated. So there's one award that goes to and, and like a viewer's choice at the end of the festival. So that says you all matter. So yeah. people should go to the cinemas. It's free. You yeah. know, throughout the period of the festival, you go in, there'll always be a program of the films mm -hmm. that are showing at a certain time, and you'll be, you'll be given a slip. It makes a difference, you know, because the audience are the people that will watch these movies, you know, and give positive feedback on the film. Mm -hmm. So go in, watch these movies, and then fill out that slip, because a movie's going to win as a result of oh, you that. filling out that slip. What we've done over time with the thrift is we partner with the state and then, you know, we make, you know, a show out of it. We make a big deal. Um, last year we were in Calabar, Tinapa. Um, it's a beautiful tourist state. Um, it, it lends itself well, you know, for our festival. And in addition, the scenery is beautiful. It's the perfect location for people to actually go and shoot movies. So we thought it'd be a, a nice setting. Mm -hmm. This year we've decided that, you know, we need to come to Lagos and then you know, Lagos is another good hub. It's commercial in nature, but more importantly, it's very touristy. So, uh, and we move. I mean, four years ago, we were in Port Harcourt. In 2012, we were in Lagos. The last two years, we've been in Calabar. So it's like coming back home. We're back to Lagos. Mm -hmm. And we hope everybody will, you know, experience the city in that period. You yeah. know, the hub is at Eco Hotel. The screenings will shuttle between um, the Palms mm -hmm. in, at ShopRite, Silverbird Cinemas. Gala, uh, Victoria Island and City Mall. That's where the you know so you know there's a lot of movement going on. Right. Everybody in Lagos should feel like oh there's something going on. There are right. people around and the trainings will be holding on the mainland in Ikeja right. for, um, at the Afrinoli studio. Studio. Stu studio. The mm -hmm. students will just go there every day. They will have their classes and they'll be on that part of town. So we expect that everybody will experience both the nightlife and the daytime yeah. life in Lagos. Something about the festival Some will touch somebody somewhere. Yeah. Absolutely. In fact, you can see me grinning from ear to ear because <laughs> there is a panel on musical scores yeah. and how music helps to tell your story, how sound effects help to tell your story. And on that panel, I know we have we have Cobham's on the panel. Cobham's is on the we panel. We have um, Ray, I think, the guy who did the soundtrack for Hotel Majestic. Mm -hmm. And you know, we're working with the Muson Center actually. Yes. Because the Muson Center has a space where you can actually record the music live, and you can assemble like the band, or if you're working with a string quartet or you know a, a, an orchestra, mm -hmm. depending on what you want to do. So yes. Yes, 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 yes. Musical scoring is, is, is a highlight of the festival. We have a lighting masterclass. We have Christian Epps from Hollywood, who's already here, yes. and he'll be taking a lighting masterclass. I think it's on Wednesday, the Wednesday of, of, of the festival week right. at Ultima Studios in yes. Lekki. Mm -hmm. I think and everybody who is interested in doing lighting has to be at, yes. in that class, because he's, he's going in, he's really going. And he's already here, he's already in Nigeria. so. That's going to be really exciting. And if you're interested, just go on www.afrif.com and register. You must. You must. <laughs> and in addition to that, we also have costume for film. Mm -hmm. You know, so when you think about, you know, October 1 and you think about the costume in that film, it was amazing, right? So what we've decided to do going forward is to create a segment during the festival called Costume for Film where you'll get, you know, good designers to come up with will get a theme and then they would have to make the build those costumes and then have models walk yeah. with those costumes. So that's interesting between, you know, musical scores and costume for film. Yeah. So you get then get a rounded feel for the film industry all within seven days during the African International Film Festival. I don't even think we should be saying, is it high time? It's already time. It's, it's happening already. It's happening the already. box office culture is on. 
um, for someone like me who I, I mean, because I'm passionate about the industry, I take my time to you know go to the cinema, sit down with the guys, you know, and ask for figures. If you ask for information, you know, over here we think there's no information. If you ask, you will get it. If you ask for a breakdown of how much this film has made within X number of weeks, even the guys who sell the tickets, they'll tell you, oh, this film is doing well or this film isn't doing well. Yeah. So what we need to do now is to balance the mathematics. So filmmakers also need to take things like budgeting very seriously. Yeah. Because the film industry is still working on areas like financing and getting support, yeah. filmmakers get a lot of things in kind and then they don't tend to you know, put the value in a budget. So when you ask a filmmaker, what was your budget for this film? It will now vary. So you cannot, you cannot really say, oh, this was the budget, this was how much it made, oh, the film. And then you're still trying to trace the income. So, you know, income for a film can go on for five years. That's because true. after you do the cinemas, then you go, you can do private screenings, then you do this, you, you can sell it to television, you do airlines, you do air, before you do DVDs. So the income takes a long time to come in. So we are there. We're there. What we're trying to do, what we, what we should be fighting for is the structure, the accountability, right. you know, the transparency, and people who actually are not artistic people, the business people, the, fi the people who, are, who deal with figures, to come into the industry and help us. And, and we, have, we have some of them around already. Yes, we do. I want to be a part of this movement because what this is, it's a movement. Hey everyone, AFRIF 2015 is holding from the 8th to the 15th of November 2015. Um, you can register on www.afrif.com. I'll say it again, www.afrif.com. You must register to attend the event. Hey, shout out from a frith. Uh, we want you to attend the film festival this year. We have something for everybody. If you're not sure, go onto our website, www.afrith.com. You want to attend a panel discussion, we're on it. We have about six to seven discussions that touch this industry. It, um, unfortunately, training uh, registration is closed, mm -hmm. but you can come as a delegate. You just register on our website and come as a delegate. If you want to attend our evening parties, you're more than welcome, but you must register. We have over 100 films to screen, and it's free. Free is good. It's free. You can watch at City Mall, uh, you can watch at The Palms, and you can watch at Silverbird. And our films will start running from 10 a.m. in the morning. Mm -hmm. Take a break from work. Have mm -hmm. lunch at the cinema. You don't want to end up in traffic. Go to one of these screening locations and watch a movie, mm -hmm. all on FRF. Just register www.afrif.com. Mm -hmm. See you there.